Good morning, friends. Julius Hurst, your realtor and friend with Lopez and Hurst Realty. Coming to you this 29th day of August. Beautiful Saturday. Nice day for the beach, for the pool, a little exercise, buy a house, sell a house, whatever it is. Beautiful day. So here we're going to give you the market analysis for the week ending Friday, August 28th. Let's see what happened in Miami-Dade and Broward counties for single-family homes, condos, villas, and the works. Okay, so let's get started. New homes for the week that were listed, it's 4,322. I'm sorry, sorry, 1,803. 4,322, that's, that's the average for last year. So we're at 42%. It's been not too much progress there. Houses that were put back in the market at 499. That's at 64% of where we were last year. So it's just stable. No, no increases, not really going down, not really going up. People are, I guess, cautious about listing the homes. They don't want people st tracing through the houses and uh, with the pandemic and all that. But I do remind you that uh, we're very careful with that. We could do that several ways. We could do uh, virtual visits, virtual tours, which is mostly what we do and make sure that people are interested before we bring them into the homes. I say that because homes are selling. The homes that are listed are selling. For example, we had 899 homes that closed on last week. That is at 63% of where we were last year. So that number is, is getting up there. Uh, last week it was around 58%. So homes are selling. Um, I'm sorry, the 899 are the active homes with contracts that were sold but had not closed on. Actual closings for the week is 1,441. That's an increase of around 130 from last week. That is a 74% of the average of last year before the pandemic. So you see that number does continue to increase. So homes are selling. Pending sales, the homes that are that, that are contract yet to come, it's uh, where that number was uh, 1,141. That's at 66%. So again, homes are selling once they're, they're on the market. So let, let's, see, let's see what actually sold for a week. Uh, the average, again, is, are three two homes. The average square footage is 2,078. That's about stable from both last year, and, and, and so that number is relatively stable. The listing price for the homes, the average listing price, 491366 that's a little bit lower than last week, it's around 38,000 lower, but it's higher than the $418,000 from last year. So there's an increase in the asking price, and that will continue. As long as the inventory continues to go down, we have more homes being sold than are listed. The prices are expected to go up. The uh, listing price per square foot for the week was 248.2. That's an increase from last week, and it's uh, an increase of the uh, 201 from last year. The selling price is 400, the average selling price is 468,261. That's about equal to last week, but it's, it's, it's quite a bit higher than the 399,000 from last year. The selling price per square foot is 225.34. That's more or less constant, but it's higher than the last year, 192.62. The average days on the market is 74 days. You can expect the house to sell in approximately 74 days. Last year, that number was 82. So sales are, are happening quicker and better. The um, list, the sale versus list price is a 90, homes are selling at 95.3% of the asking price. So there is some reduction there. That same number is about the same last year, 95.4. For mortgages, the average mortgage rate is 3.07 for a 30-year mortgage. This is average again, depending on credit and price and other factors. The 15-year is at 2.69. So mortgage rates are good. Prices are okay. You could, you could get a, a decent price. So homes are selling. So if you're thinking about selling your home or buying, we're here to help you. We'd love to help work with you. Just please give me a call. Other than that, we'll... Have a good week. We'll see you next week. And God bless.